back to the channel. And if you're just finding me, we basically talk about money related topics here, like credit cards, credit unions, crypto, real estate, stock market, side hustles, grants, and even travel hacks. If any of that stuff is what you like, do me a favor, support the channel by hitting the like, subscribe, share, and hitting the notification bell so you'll know when something new is coming. In today's video, it's about travel hacks, and it's something really simple, but it's very often overlooked. Have you ever been looking for a flight and you see a great price on a flight and then you come back to it 10 minutes later or an hour later and now the price is going up and then you come back to it another half hour later and now the price has gone up even more. Well, what's happening is you're being tracked and what you need to do is take the tracker off when you're searching for travel. Now, there's all types of great uh, travel assisting websites and apps. So I'm talking stuff like Hotwire, Priceline, uh, uh, Cheap Flights, Orbits, Sky Scanner is one of my favorites. I'll leave a link uh, to that particular site in the description of this video. But when I say to take the tracker off, I'm talking about going undercover or incognito because your moves are being tracked online by the internet so they can determine what type of content that you like and what type of content you're looking for. Therefore, those prices on those flights are going up. So to go incognito or go undercover, it's really very easy. All you have to do is go up to the top right-hand corner of your Google browser, and you're gonna click those little three dots and you'll see a drop-down menu and it'll tell you you can go cognito and it'll look something like this. And then when you click on it to go cog incognito, it's going to look a little something like this, kind of like you're in spy mode, right? And you can also do this in Microsoft Edge by going up and clicking that same three dots and it'll tell you that you wanna go into a private window and the private window will look a little bit like this. And it's the same effect as Microsoft Google or as Google doing uh, incognito. Now, for all the Apple or Mac users, it's just a little bit different. You're going to go up to file and then you're going to hit private window and it's going to have the same effect. And this basically takes the cookie tracker off of your Internet browsing history. So that would mean that they wouldn't be paying attention when you're looking for that great price on that flight. And when you go back to it 20, 30 minutes later, that great price will still be there unless it's actually gone up legitimately. All right. So that's just something I want to share with you. That's a quick little travel hack that's very often overlooked, but it can be very helpful in, in assisting you in getting a great price on your travel. If you found value in content like that, do me a favor, hit subscribe, like, and share. And as always, I approve of any message that gives you free money, that helps you save money, that helps you make money. Okay, on that note, guys, I'll see you soon. Until then, I'm out.